Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to verify if the hardware virtualization is enabled in Linux Ubuntu. But wait a second, why do we need to do that? Well, in order to install virtual machines on Linux or to install Docker in Linux Ubuntu, we need to make sure that the hardware virtualization is enabled. Hardware virtualization on most machines should be enabled in systems BIOS. You can double check that the hardware virtualization is enabled by restarting your computer and by entering BIOS. For example, on my HP Omen computer I can enter BIOS by restarting the computer and by pressing Escape and then F10. However, if you have some other computer, then the procedure might be different. But in principle, restart the computer, it can be F2, F5, F10, or some other keyboard button. Okay, now, even if you enable virtualization in BIOS, it is still required to double check that the virtualization is enabled in Linux Ubuntu. In case of Intel processors, virtualization technology is called VTX. So let's learn how to verify or how to double check that the hardware virtualization is enabled in Linux Ubuntu. I will explain three methods and you should use both all the three methods actually to verify it. Okay, let's start. First of all, let's open a terminal. Click here and search for terminal. Then over here, I will simply resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing. The first step is to execute this command. And let's see the output. Over here, you can see VTX. Now, since I have an Intel processor, in case of Intel processor, virtualization is called Virtualization Technology X. And this means that it's enabled. Good. Let's test by using the second method. The second method is actually to execute this command again in the terminal. And let's see the output. Now, as an output, I see number 40. And this number is not equal to zero. This means that I have installed hardware virtualization and it's enabled. On the other hand, if you see here zero, this means that hardware virtualization is not enabled. Okay, and let's test the third method. The third method will use this nice app called CPU Checker. So install this app by running this. And then over here, we will simply write the following. KVM, OK. And let's see the output. The output in my case looks like this. Info dev KVM exists and KVM acceleration can be used. Good. That's all.